Hi, do you remember EV blog number 1333? Nano Diamond self charging batteries could disrupt energy as we know it. And I did a debunking video on that and how that was basically marketing bullshit. Now, and not that these things aren't real, um, like these beta voltaic batteries as they're called, they're a real thing. Companies have been selling them for decades. They're, they're actually a thing and they can generate, you can buy a commercial like 100 microwatt module and yes micro watts but all the marketing behind this anyway i'll link in the video if you haven't seen it go and watch it it's absolutely hilarious and they talk about how it's manufactured and how they've got like a double a battery to do it and all sorts of things anyway uh, <laughs> they promptly removed this image i think from their website at the time which actually showed the 100 micro watt uh, beta voltaic and they were talking about i don't know charging EVs or some rubbish and all sorts of stuff, right? Anyway, debunking video. What's happened? We have an update. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> from a nuclear news wire here and by the way uh this uh, thank you uh for one of my ev blog forum uh members uh, winner winner chicken dinner for alerting me to this securities and exchange commission lawsuit against nuclear diamond battery startup <laughs> the securities and exchange commission is suing nuclear diamond battery developer ndb inc charging that the company and its chief executive officer nima Golserifi, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, defrauded investors by making materially false and misleading statements in a company press release. So this is what the Securities and Exchange Commission in the US are uh, claiming. They're, they're suing them. Um, uh, defrauded investors, that is their claim. A private startup company uh, formerly based in Sanford, formerly based. <laughs> They're not based anymore. They've gone out of business. I don't know. Um, NDB is purportedly developing a high-powered, high-powered, 100 microwatts, nuclear battery that derives its power from the decay of radi radioisotopes recovered from nuclear waste. The company has claimed the battery can last up to 28,000 years without being replaced. Well, you know, there's circuitry inside this thing. So, you know, <laughs> you can't beat the laws of electronics engineering, Captain. The allegations, the SEC alleges that NDP and uh, Golserifi raised over 1.2 million from investors after falsely claiming in an August 25, 2020 press release that NDB had successfully tested its battery technology. And I think I, I covered that in the original uh, video at two laboratories in the United States and United Kingdom and that NDB had signed its first two beta customers. And I guess that's how they were able to raise their money. Oh, look, it's been tested in two different labs and... Uh, where they've signed customers as well. So, you know, shows momentum. And um, the, according to the SEC, these claims were false and misleading because NDB had not tested its battery technology at either laboratory, nor had the company signed any beta customers at the time of the press release. Oopsie. In the month following the publication, NDB raised approximately 660,000 as well as approximately 580,000 in additional investor funds in the subsequent 11 months, according to the SEC. So the SEC is seeking injunctive uh, relief, including conduct-based injunctions, disgorgement, plus pre-judgment interest and civil penalties from NDB and Gol Sarifi, and an officer and director bar against uh, Gol Sarifi. So uh, it looks like they want to bar him from being a director for any future companies. Interesting. So these debunking uh, type videos that I and others do on these uh, products and companies and Kickstarters and Indiegogos and start engines and whatnot, um, they usually just go out of business. <laughs> Because, yeah, the, either the product was was never going to work. It was, you know, it was never practical or whatever. Solar roads and Fontus and all sorts of, you know, <laughs> fantastic stuff. The, lo the list is long and distinguished. But um, the Securities and Exchange Commission are going after them. I d I've done debunking videos on uh, companies that have raised a lot more money than this. But, hey, um, they're, they're claiming just outright fraud here. So this is their actual litigation release uh, here. So I'll link in all these uh, down below. So the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, I call them the SEC. 
Sorry, that's just, you know, it's common in the industry. Versus NDB Inc. So this was uh, September 14th, and today we formally uh, charged them, etc. The sex complaint alleges that raised over 1.2 million after falsely claiming had successfully tested its batteries. And we read the complaint in that article uh, before, and that's the exact complaint. The sex complaint filed in District Court of Northern District of California charges Gold River with violating Section 17A of the Securities Act of 1933. Jeez, they haven't updated that, have they? Um, um, and Section 10B of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934. And their investigation was uh, done by uh, these people. And, you know, you can go in and look at the set complaint um, in detail. Like, we, I won't go through the whole thing. This is not Law Channel. Leave it to one of the law YouTubers if they're interested uh, in this thing. But this seems to be the main, like, uh, banner thing here. On August 25th, 2020, NDB issued a press release uh, approved by uh, Gol Sharifi that contained a number of materially false and misleading statements, including but not limited to the following. The press release touted a purported major technological laboratory breakthrough. And then, as I showed in my debunking video, that's what all the... Like, it spread like wildfire in the news and the, like, the, the press just ran with this nuclear diamond battery. Wow. You know, even though it's just a beta voltaic battery and they've been around for decades and you can just buy them off the shelf. And yeah, they're a real thing, but they just produce tiny amounts of power for a very, very long time. Useful, very useful for really niche applications, but they're very expensive and it's not, you know, anyway, anyway they were claiming they could put in like a little double A battery and the double A battery would last for, you know, <laughs> forever and stuff like that. So they actually claim they uh, actually signed some customers. In particular, NDB falsely claimed that one, it had successfully completed proof uh, proofs of concept tests, that's a quote, of the NDB battery at a national laboratory in the United States, the American lab, and a laboratory affiliated with a major university in the United Kingdom, and that its proprietary battery achieved a breakthrough 40% charge in both tests, and NDB had signed two beta customers. In reality, NDB had not conducted any testing at those laboratories. Oops! or developed its own battery for such testing. They're claiming they hadn't even developed their own battery, its own battery for such testing. What, are they claiming it didn't even exist apart from the, uh, you know, the uh, 3D renders? Say it ain't so. And it had not signed any beta customers. So this is the claims of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Wow. So it looks like they're seeking to get the money back for the investors. That's the disgorgement of ill-gotten gains. I love it. <laughs> disgorgement of ill-gotten gains with prejudgment interest and civil monetary penalties. Anyway, I'll, I'll link you all this down below, but uh, like the factual allegations, right? <laughs> Is, there's tons of this. And they're saying that he um, formed it as a Silicon Valley company to develop and manufacture, but at the time, uh, Gol Sharifi did not live or work in the United States and instead resided in the United Kingdom. During all times relevant to this complaint, uh, Gol Sharifi controlled all important aspects of NDB operations, research efforts, and self-promotion. And he hired a San Francisco-based boutique communications firm to help NDB with their public relations campaign for the company, which included their press releases. So, but that's... The, that's common, of course. When you got these startups, you hire one of these communications PR firms and they help write your press releases. And contrary to the claims of the press release, NDB had not conducted any proof of concept tests of the NDB battery or achieved any significant results at the American lab. In fact, beyond a few sporadic emails between Gol Sharifi and a scientist at the American lab uh, between 2017 and 2019, did not even have contact with the American lab, much less conduct any testing. Wow. The scientist did not perform any proof of concept tests with NDB or Gol Sharifi as Gol, Gol Sharifi has since admitted and he's admitted it he's admitted it NDB did not develop its own battery he's admitted they did not develop their own battery it's not just a claim and did not test its te technology at the American lab so they called him out and he admitted it by the sounds of it and several weeks after the press release, and this thing just exploded in the press, I guess it got back to this uh, British uh, lab, and uh, they emailed the communications firm to request that they remove reference to the British lab. No such testing ever took place at the British lab, as far as my staff are aware. <laughs> oh, wow. And the American labs did the same, and after that, Gol Sharifi directed the communications firm to avoid using the two laboratories' names in future articles. Wow.
and he blamed intellectual property concerns instead of telling the communications firm that they had not conducted tests at Eva Laboratory. Gol Sharifi knew or was reckless in not knowing that the statements in the press release regarding the proof of concept testing and test results were false and misleading. By virtue of Gol Sharifi's involvement in and control over company, NDB also knew or was reckless in not knowing the statements regarding the proof of concept uh, were false and misleading. <laughs> And as for the claims of the two uh, beta customers, <laughs> no pun intended, beta tech customers for the beta voltaics, get it? Mirror wheat. They did not have any beta customers at the time of the press release, and they go on to define beta customers. The aerospace and defense company referenced in the press release was a prominent U.S. company, uh, company as he's admitted. Uh, NDB approaches about a potential collaboration. However, no partnership or collaboration ever materialized. So, yeah, it, like contacted them and went, well, let's put it in the press release. So they signed a non-disclosure agreement and set the, a draft letter of support in which the U.S. defense company would agree to work with them. But And it specifically says the non-disclosure disclosure agreement expressly stated that it did not create a business relationship of any kind and the draft letter of support was never executed by the parties. <laughs> wow. They did not enter into any agreement with the US defense company uh, to test the prototypes at all. So pff, it was all just BS. And same for the uh, second company, which was in uh, France as well. They basically, there's no contractual relationship um, and they didn't do any testing at all. And they amplified the media attention resulting from their false and misleading uh, press releases. NDB received significant attention from the news media, online blogs and potential investors as a result of the press release. Within a day of the press releases publication, approximately 63 articles had been published based on information in the press release, including articles on well-known technology news sites. NDB took advantage of and amplified this press attention by posting links to the article on its social media accounts. For example, after one prominent technology news website published the article, NDB uh, aces key tests and lands first beta customers. NDB promoted the article on both Twitter and uh, its website. Wow, they ha after the press release, hundreds of potential investors contacted them through their website and emailing the communications firm expressing interest in investing. Wow. That's the power of these press releases. That's why startup companies do this and they hire the uh, PR firms to do these press releases. And there's companies that like spread the press releases out and stuff like that. And then once one picks, and all you need is one of the big major ones uh, to pick it up and then all the others pick it up and they all just run with it. But they are like... <laughs> <laughs> this just went crazy. NDB even provided potential investors who were accredited or self-certified as sophisticated uh, in investors, that is. That's a specific legal term, a sophisticated investor. Um, with the opportunity to buy shares of NDB at 435 per share and directed interested investors to wire money to two business bank accounts in the United States. So they didn't even go through like Start Engine or anything like that. By the sounds of it, they were just like, just wire some money into our account and buy some shares. No worries. About 27 investors invested approximately 660,000. Eventually, in the year after, defendants received approximately 1.24 million in investment funds from around 68 investors in the United States and abroad. Wow. And he paid himself a bi-weekly salary using investor funds. And I've actually got info on that. Here it is here. Here's from the uh, SEC uh, investigation here. And here's the um, actual SEC thing here. And here's the offer of employment to himself for being CEO of the company. So this was 2019 and uh, offer of employment. We are writing to confirm our desire. He's writing to himself <laughs> to confirm his own desire to offer himself a position of employment with the company that he owns. But, you know, this is just standard stuff, I guess. If you're a, you know, a small like a company and you're the owner and you want to appoint yourself the CEO, I guess you have to write these letters for official reasons and stuff like that. It's just a thing. We are pleased to offer you the position of Chief Executive Officer. And there you go, um, a salary of $187,000 a year. <laughs> Fantastic. Yours sincerely. And this is also from the uh, SEC investigation. This is an archive from their uh, webpage, uh, Facility and Land Development, because they claim to, you know, not that they had these, but they claim that was part of, if you invested, yeah, we're going to build these, you know, R&D research facilities. And uh, it will be built by HOK, the Architects of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. It's going to be built and everything else, right? And it's going to be in, in California. It's going to be a Californian facility, right? And all this sort of stuff. Stuff. And here's all the cost breakdowns of all the budgeting they need to actually uh, build this thing. And as it turns out, um, 
these, and thank you to the EV Blog Forum member for pointing this out. Um, these photos, they were taken from a model of this um, Origin Harlow Innovation Park, which is not in California. It's in uh, Essex, in in London, in the in the old Dart, right? And this is the right. So there must have been like a three D model or something like that. But this is the same. This is the same building. So um, yeah, oopsie. So yeah, this is a laboratory and office space. Um, but yeah, it's not in California. So it's like no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but it is actually a real thing. But it's just not for them and it's not in California. So anyway, here's all the claims for relief and yeah, I'm not a YouTuber lawyer, so a pr prayer for relief? <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't, I don't understand any of this, but yeah, there it is, there it is. <laughs> the Securities and Exchange Commission um, have uh, filed lawsuit against uh, <laughs> the nuclear diamond battery and yeah at the time it was like yeah I went through all the I think I went through some of the press releases and stuff like that and it was just nuts and they were like <laughs> doing making all sorts of claims but as it like I thought this was just like a regular you know um, sort of like a kickstarter -y type startup thing that we're just taking a, a something that actually is a real technology so like you know Fontas with their water harvesting from air and stuff like that that's all real solar roadways does actually work you know um and and all sorts of stuff that i've done debunking on them they, you know this is a real thing beta voltaics are a real thing but it turns out they didn't even he admitted they didn't have a product um and they didn't have uh, like any uh, agreements they had done no testing there was no product no testing and they had no customers at all and they raised um uh, funds as a result of that and well they raised 1.2 million dollars based on all these uh, claims which um they've admitted that they never had the product they never got them tested or anything and the securities and exchange commission um it looks like they're <laughs> I assume they're going to win. <laughs> seems like a pretty, uh, they've admitted stuff and it seems like a pretty uh, clear cut case. So hope I don't know how much of the money is uh, spent or how much the investors are going to get back. I hope they get back a uh, decent amount, but there you go. But there you have it. Um, is that the first? I'm pretty sure that's the first debunking I've done that has been um, like sued because it was actually fraudulent. Usually they're not, you know, they're sort of just hopeful <laughs> and they just develop this tech which is never going to be practical or whatever. Um, but in this particular case, no, the SEC are alleging fraud and I'd be surprised if they don't uh, win their lawsuit there. So I hope the investors get some money back. But anyway, um, I'll link in my original uh, video down below and you can go check that out. And uh, that, yeah, the nuclear diamond battery, this dip package here, <laughs> it never existed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that follow-up video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up comments and things down below and on the EV blog forum and thanks to winner winner chicken dinner on the EV blog forum for uh, pointing this out <laughs> unbelievable catch you next time <laughs>